Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to what is going to be another player view on my channel. As of last night, we finally got the release of the brand new FIFA 22 Heroes cards. There are some crazy looking boys, but one man caught my eye in particular. Being an Arsenal fan, it's of course the Arsenal icon, it's Freddie Lundberg. Remember last year, Youngberg, he's got the better of Terry, Freddie Youngberg! Also, with the release of Hero Cards, we got the first Ones to Watch team in packs, and that means if you pre ordered, you would have gotten your guaranteed Ones to Watch pack. Let me know who you managed to get, guys. I'm a little bit salty because I got myself so all, but I'm not going to say it's too bad as of yet. The man may have an absolute worldie for Chelsea this season. Fingers crossed, he gets a couple of informs throughout. But here is the man we're taking a look at in today's video, Freddie Lundberg's hero card in all of its glory. And now this guy did have a few icon cards or legend cards back in the day. I'm not sure if it was quite before the icon period of FIFA. Uh, but this is pretty much a carbon copy of one of his baby legends. So the card itself, we've got medium, medium on the work rates, so right footed, four star, four star, and he is five foot nine. Now this guy cost me 230k. I bought him at about half six this morning, being Saturday. I'm an early riser these days, so the price may fluctuate all throughout the day. There weren't too many on the market at the time, but this man was the cheapest by now. So I may lose a ton of coins, but who really cares, because we get to try out Big Freddy. Now that dynamic image, I'm pretty certain, is from when he's playing Chelsea in the FA Cup, he takes on John Terry, the old shoulder into the face, takes it down and bends it. Pure whippage top bends. Now this man was one of my favourite players growing up. I remember watching highlights of him throughout my younger years. Him and Thierry Henry, Robert Perez, destroying the scene for Arsenal. Beautiful days, maybe one day we'll be back there. It's highly unlikely, but I mean, you can, you can hope, right? So Freddie Lundberg himself, the attributes, I did buy him with the Hunter Kemp style, which is great because that's what I would definitely put on this card. You get a nice little boost of pace, the shooting gets a nice little fine tune as well, another curve. Curve should be a lot better. The amount of times this man whipped one top bins was unreal, but the rest of the passes stats are great for the link up play. We will use him as a left forward in this video, hoping to recreate the cutting in from the left and bending one top corner. Dribbling stats are fine, and the physicals, we've got nice stamina, strength, and aggression. Player traits, we've got speed, dribble, CPU, AI trait, and the outside, the foot shot trait. And we've also got a hero profile, so exactly the same as icons, you can kind of take a look at their careers. This is quite nice for the heroes that not a lot of people have heard about. You can maybe take a little deep dive into their career, see what teams they played for, how many goals they scored. And as you can see, it says it. He sprinted forward down the left, held off a challenge from John Terry, and whipped it. Top bins. Beautiful scenes. It is from the 2002 FA Cup final. But those are the attributes and that is the card. Let's go meet the boys that he's rocking with. Oh yes, my team as it stands guys. I got super lucky yesterday. Three gold upgrade packs. We get the first one, we get Uzman Dembele. And the second one, I kid you not, we get Neuer and De Jong in the same pack. you got to go for the back to back to back, haven't you? Yeah, we got the Croy. So my team as it stands is looking like this. We've got Neuer in goal, the glitch himself and Babu at right back. Lacroix first time using him alongside Upa Mancano at the back. Big man KT linking up to uh, Freddie Lundberg. If you didn't know, the way Icon's chemistry works, if they are linked up to a Premier League player, it's an automatic green link. If it's a Premier League player and a Swedish national player, it's a hyperlink. So it's insane. You get some incredible linkability opportunities, which is what we love to see. Once to watch Camavinga, we ended up unlocking him last night. Little bit of a ball late, but once people started doing gold and goal, it went pretty quickly. First time using Frankie and Usman. Greasy Grease, one of my favorite cards so far, and Riddle back, who finishes off the team. Custom tactics, we got balance, 35, 45. Balance on the build-up play, direct passing on chance creation, 40 width, seven in the box, one and quarters and three kicks. The formations are four, three, two, one. Usman is our striker. Lundberg, as I said, is left forward. Greece on the other side. Kamavinga, Frankie and Riddle Baku are midfield three and the back four stays the same. So let's stop messing about and let's get into this game. For the first hero card I am reviewing on my channel, guys. Let's hope he is an absolute baller. We are in Div 4 as it stands, and I believe we are three wins away from Division 3, so it's going to be sweaty. Uh, apologies if I'm up against an absolute sweat bag here, but let's test out Freddy. All I want to do is get it on the left-hand side and whip one top bins. I might make it one of my missions this year, where every time I'm trying out a hero card, try and recreate the goal that they have the dynamic image from, essentially. So Freddy's here is the FA Cup final, and for future heroes, we'll kind of take a deep dive and see what we can summon up. But it is currently 7.23 Saturday morning. So Division 4, a lot of the sweats are probably asleep. They've probably pulled their all-nighters and they're going to bed around this time. So let's hope we can find a match in the next few minutes. 
So we've managed to find ourselves a game. I went to grab my laptop quickly. Uh, and what are we up against? A nice little Serie A squad. I respect it a bit. Merton's a bit Kessie. Is that uh, the uh, featured team of the week? What's his name? Felipe Anderson as well. But let's see just like good Freddie Lundberg is. Where is he? Is that in there? Oh, he's got dark hair. I don't think he has the red mohawk in game. That is very disappointing. That's the man I wanted the one to watch. But Freddie, first touch the ball. How are you feeling, my son? Feels good on the ball. Of course he does. He's a hero card. You'd expect him to feel fantastic. Talk about drop back, by the way. My opponent is well and truly in his own net. Oh, my days, mate. You imagine. We almost recreated it five minutes into the game. Are you taking the mickey? Done, Kamavinga. Come on then, Freddy. So the pace feels good. The dribbling feels nice. Little link up play here. Hold that up. Hit him. Oh, he's not going to have the strength to get past Kula Bali, is he? Kula Daddy's an absolute unit at the back. Croy. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how much of a tank LaCroix is? He's 79 overall, and he has the most incredible stats. Big Freddy in on the right. Little finesse. We've hit them belly in the face. Does not want to fall for us right now, boys. We're doing all we can. We've hit the post. We're hitting our own players in the old chin. It's going to happen. Trust me. We need a bit of magic. We need a bit of Freddy Lundberg is what we need. It's a bit of link-up play with the old Kieran Tierney. I'm looking at Freddy on the edge. <sighs> Mate, no, there's no, there's no chance. There is no way. Freddy Lundberg. Lundberg. We hit Dembele, haven't we? Boys, I don't know what more we could possibly be doing right now. We've hit the post twice with Freddie Lundberg, some unreal effort. And Dembele just wants to block every damn shot. I'm pretty certain it's a domination all over him. 70% possession, we've got expected goals coming out of our eyebrows. But nothing is quite falling for Freddie Lundberg. It's only a matter of time, surely. Love that. He has quite an interesting kind of like low centre of gravity, which is great. Brilliant pick out. The Bele or Grease in the middle. There's the goal, but it's not a Freddie Lundberg goal, but we'll take it nevertheless. Freddie Lundberg started the move. Freddie and Kieran Tierney and Greasy Grease leaps like a salmon at the back post. Good finish, to be fair. <laughs> Oh, that is an unreal stop for Mandanovic. Another effort for Freddy. Just not quite finding the back of the net, though. Love that from the boys. Oh, I try to Freddy. We get to go again. Freddy Lundberg, you're onside. Freddy, there it is. He gets his goal. Oh, he does have the little red mohawk as well. You just can't really see it. Uh, Unless you're in a close-up. But the boy gets the finesse whippage. Finally. Hit the post about 75 times. Keeper saved a good 400 of them. But at the end of the day, Freddy always prevails, boys. Romelu! There's no way Hadanovic has saved it. There's no way. Big bad from a corner. Romelu Lukaku. Do it. Do it. He's there again. Seconds. Oh, and Danovic, mate, honestly. So game number one ends in a two-all draw. I felt unlucky. I feel like one of those Freddie Lundberg Finesse's early doors probably should have found the back of the net. But if we end in a draw, we have to go into another one. So let's do this. Game number two coming up with the hero, Freddie Lundberg. Let's hope for a bit more luck this time. So game number two, what are we up against this time round? Go easy on us. Come on, it's early morning. Neymar, I don't know if that's quite the definition of going easy. But it's the first time against Neymar, I'm pretty certain. I don't think I've played anybody with him as of yet. Renato Sanchez, the rat Ben Yedder as well. And my opponent is doing needless skill moves by himself. So you already know it's going to be a fun time. Oh, is it safe? I don't know how. That looked like it was going top in. Somehow he's plucked that one out. Oh, it's the last ditch challenge. We're starting to get a little bit of a bit of love in this match. It's been a slow start. 
Even if we now are open to a counter attack. And that is the counter attack goal we concede. Ben Yedder, Valverde linking up. We go again. There's the goal. Who's with the ballet? I am full on focus mode, guys. Honestly, this is the sweatiest game I've played in a very long time. Just Neymar, Ben Yedda and the ballet for my opponent is enough said. Freddy, whip it. Probably shouldn't have driven that one, to be fair. You can never trust finesse shots in this game unless you're a good 20, 30 yards out of the box. But decent bit of movement from the boys. We're creating the chances now. Just need to get that big opportunity and get the goal. Oh, one more. Freddie Lomberg. Make that. It's a great touch. Keeper came out quickly, but that doesn't matter because he's there and he is composed. And he gets the goal. 2-1 to the boys. The Red Mohawk. Lovely scenes. Oh, waiting for the keeper to come out. He, to be fair, the keeper probably should have saved it. Knowing how overpowered they are this year. But we will take it nevertheless. There it is. We finally get ourselves an outside of the box finesse shot. And of course it goes in off the woodwork just for the style points. Uh, happy days boys. We get the free... One lead. Whiskers. Honestly, all you need to do with this man until they patch finesse shots is have him on the edge of the box cutting in. Just wait for it. Get it to him the second he takes one touch. Ping a finesse. It's more than likely scraping the post or is going top ends. Ah, oh, yes. There it is, boys. Keep the composure. Saw the keeper running. Freddie Lumber gets another assist. And that is a 4-1 lead against the team. He quits in the 86th minute. Just to make me feel even better, boys. But what a performance from the lads. Freddie Lumberg with two goals and an assist on the end there. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end this one. I hope you enjoyed the first hero player view on my channel. If you did, smash the like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know which hero card is your favourite. Is Brady Lumberg the boy? And my honest opinion on this card, he is fantastic. One of the best unique cards I've used this year. His dribbling is incredible. He's so quick to turn with the ball. Don't get me started on the finesse shots. And he was clinical in tight situations. Link at play, passing, top tier. Is he worth 230k? It's questionable. There's a lot of decent overpowered cards that are insanely cheap this year. Purely for the Freddie Lundberg name, there's going to be a premium and the fact that he gets a strong link to Premier League cards. But I probably would say under 200k is a respectable value for this man. But the card was only out yesterday. The hype is there. It is what it is, guys. You've got to pay these prices. Anyway, I'll be more to you guys. And until next time, take it easy.